Hey, so in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about acid, um, stomach acid to be specific. And it really surprises people um, if they say, oh, I've got heartburn and reflux. And one of the ways that I'll suggest we try to treat it is by actually adding additional acid in, which, which seems completely counterintuitive. But um, with a lot of people, this really works wonders. And essentially, when you think about it, in a, in a normal stomach with normal digestion, the acidity of the stomach, the pH, should be incredibly strong acid, almost approaching a pH of, of even two or one, which is almost as strong as, a, as an acid can get. Um, with any of you that eat meat, if you've ever marinated the meat in something acidic, like a, a marinade or even vinegar or something like that, you know, it tenderizes the meat. And so essentially, with our stomach, when it's doing what it's supposed to do, it should be able to get to a very, very um, acidic state, which is going to help digest the protein, it's going to help begin to break down the food. Um, ideally, if we've chewed our food correctly, like we're all, you know, we're taught when we were kids, you know, by the time it gets to the stomach, it's already kind of, you know, uh, digestion has begun. Um, but what happens with us is as we age, like a lot of things, we don't produce as much stomach acid as we did when we were younger. So most of us, even by the time we hit our 40s, we are not making anywhere near the acid that, that we did when we were in our 20s. And of course, as we get older and that, it gets worse. So without that adequate acidity, digestion suffers. Another interesting aspect is, is minerals. Many of the minerals uh, require acidity for absorption into the body. Um, fairly well known that if someone needs to supplement iron, if, the, if they have iron deficiency anemia, if they take the iron with something that has acid, like some, some people say take it with orange juice, um, it'll absorb better. Um, same principle, we, we need acidity for mineral absorption and for adequate digestion. So what happens if you're 40 like you're, or above, like I am, and we're not making the acid that we used to, you can supplement it with many things, with anything that's acidic, including lemon juice, and apple cider vinegar, but one of my favorites to try people on is betaine, betaine HCL or, or betaine hydrochloride. Um, got two different versions of it here. And essentially betaine is just a very, very acidic compound. So it comes in a capsule. And what I normally tell people to do is, have, is to never take this on an empty stomach. This is only meant to be taken with food. But basically put something in the stomach. So have a few bites of your meal. Take one of the capsules, wash it down, and then finish the meal and that way ideally it's it's sandwiched in the food in the stomach and it's going to mimic stomach acid and so if someone takes this with with a meal i hope that they either feel nothing which is okay or better but what i don't want to hear is that they actually have a burning sensation so if someone says yeah i tried that and every time i took it i kind of felt like i had an ulcer um stop that basically means this this is not going to be the answer but if someone takes it and they said, hey, yeah, you know, I, I actually, I didn't have heartburn and um, felt like, you know, food didn't sit in my stomach for an hour after I ate it, then it's working for that person. And what they're going to see is if, if they continue it with most meals, um, mineral absorption is going to get better. And that can translate into all kinds of benefits. I mean, people will feel better. Hair quality gets better. Fingernail quality gets better. Um, really good stuff. I don't take this with every single meal. But I've noticed that if I'm going to have a high protein meal and I don't take it, digestion is not as good otherwise. This other form, this is betaine with pepsin, which is a, a digestive enzyme. Um, some people prefer this form because it's got two things in it. Um, I tend to be a, a, to favor the plain betaine a little bit more, but again, it's kind of personal preference. So either way, um, I, I usually recommend if you're over 40, give it a shot. See what you think. So, all right. See you next time.